Oh yes, you heard right. GTA 5 is back on the Xbox Game Pass. This is only the console version, so this means that it's available for Xbox One and the Series X and S. Plus, they also made both versions available for Xbox Cloud. You f***ing with me, right? Not this time, Lamar. This means you'll be able to play GTA 5 on your mobile device in the palm of your hand. Want to know all the details? Let's drive safely? All right, drive safe. Nah, let's floor it. You wanna get whipped like this? You gotta stay on your grid now. As you might know, we covered the game last time when it was on Xbox Cloud back in 2021, just before they pulled the game from Game Pass. Has the game performance, latency, and graphics improved since last time? It's complicated, but the short answer is yes. We played both versions of the game on various devices and platforms. Now the best way to play this game is easily on the Xbox app or the Edge browser on your desktop with a high speed internet connection. Plug in a controller of your choice, it doesn't have to be an Xbox controller, and the game performs extremely well, better than last time. They have improved the streaming quality since they removed the game. The latency is improved tenfold and the audio was spot on. Now for those just getting into cloud gaming, there still might be some slight lag. Nothing you can't get used to though. As you can see, riding through traffic is not a hard thing to do. You also might be wondering what's the difference between the Xbox One version and the Series X and S version? Well, technically the XS version is the next gen version. All this really is is various graphic updates. It's nothing too improved, so we won't showcase them too much here. There are various comparisons online you can check out, but the real reason is because you should be able to pick up where you left off on your cloud saves depending on which console you own, as long as you're connected to the Xbox network. Now if you're playing on Xbox Cloud only, it's really up to you to decide what version you want to play. Now be aware, if you want to play online with friends who are also on Xbox, make sure you know what version they had because the Xbox One and the X and S versions are not cross compatible. I also had noticeable differences on startup. The Xbox One version got me directly into story mode, but the next gen version had me start in the menu and had options to go straight into online mode, sign up for GTA Plus, and then go into story mode. Surprisingly, they also require you to sign up for an account to the social club to even play story mode. Now for the real question, how does it play on mobile? It really comes down to what you're playing on. We played on a 10 year old iPhone and a new iPhone. Both played flawlessly on good Wi-Fi. We also highly recommend playing this with a backbone. Link in the description. Now if you have an Android, I would recommend a newer, more powerful Android because we had some issues. I have a Galaxy Tab A7 and the delay on the Xbox Game Pass app was crazy. Just a heads up, your experience might be different though. Remember too that you do need an external controller because Xbox Cloud does not support touch controls for this game yet. Overall, this might be the best new way to play GTA 5 on your mobile device. You don't have to buy the game and technically you get both versions to play it with both communities. Lucky you. Now if you're looking to get started with the Xbox Game Pass, the link is in the description. If you like this overview of GTA 5 on Xbox Cloud, again, give us a like. Also make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, you better get this now before they take this off the- I'll shut my mouth now, sorry.